y'all it's your girl lance bh capital enterprises coming to you with another uh episode of um spx levels of the week i do apologize that i did not get this out on monday uh or even on sunday as i've had a busy past several days but no excuses um next week i'll have it out on time but uh i'm just gonna pick it up where it is uh last week we saw some consolidation um well not really consolidation but spx was bullish for the most part there was a uh, a quick little sell-off that happened but um spx quickly recovered or rebounded uh and finished the week out last week at an all-time high or new all-time high uh there you see it 38 26 69 um, but so far for the past several days, um, for the past week or so, SPX has been consolidating. Um, as we know, there's a lot of political uncertainty um, happening here in the States. Um, so there's a lot of things in the balance. Uh, I guess Trump is getting impeached. Uh, you know, the, the whole riot situation happened last week, late last week. Um, and that's where that, that quick sell-off happened. But yet and still, SPX obeyed, for the most part, those levels that I put out. Um, so this week, you know, I'm really not expecting a whole lot um, as the markets are kind of... It's possible that the markets could, could uh, kind of consolidate on past uh, bank earnings, I think, this week. Yeah. Um, we probably won't see any real movement in the markets until uh, big tech earnings hits or comes in or comes into play uh, maybe around inaugur inaugur inauguration oh that word kicked my butt but um, typically you know from what I remember not much happens in the way of price action during during uh, bank earnings week so uh, like I said, I'm not expecting a whole lot. So we might still get that range-bound action this week. But either way, um, if you go back and look at SPX over the past, you know, four or five days, you'll see that it it has struggled to beat that um, 38.10 to 38.13 range. Uh, it gets up above 38.10, and then it struggles to uh, maintain that upward movement. So uh, SPX been been closing um, down around 38.10 and below for the past few days. So, you know, going to keep an eye on that. Um, of course, if SPX can beat that level finally, um, we'll see that that uh, high teen. So around uh, 38.17 to 38.21 or so, so somewhere in there. And then we'll see the new all-time high again. Uh, so I think it'll once it beats that low 20s, it'll get above that 38.26. And so then we're looking at mid, low to mid, um, 38.30s, and then 38.45. Uh, so um, yeah, I mean this thing really can go either way right now. Um, as you see, uh, SPX is finally. Uh, the, the last couple of weeks, it finally closed above uh, this trend line, this diagonal trend line that I drew um, a while back. Um, so, you know, and last week it, it tested that, uh, but bears failed to keep it below there. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep watching that. Um, I'm going to keep watching that trend line and watching the price action in relation to that trend line. But if SPX can't beat this, uh, can't, you know, at some point beat this 3810s and, and get on back up to the all-time high, then we can see uh, below 3800 again. Um, I, I can't predict the future, of course, uh, but, you know, just all I can do is just tell you the levels that I'll be watching. So um, do your own due diligence, of course. This is not any type of investment advice. Um, this is purely for educational and entertainment purposes only. Um, again, I apologize for getting this out so late uh, in the week, um, but you know uh, we'll, we'll see how SPX closes out the week. Um, and if you want to vote below, 
let me know. You think SPA is going to close out the week at a new all-time high or is going to be below the new all-time high? Let me know what you think. Please make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know anytime I put out new content. Um, I try to do it a few times a week uh, regarding different market, to market topics. Uh, Mondays is usually SPX levels of the week. Wednesdays is usually... Um, one market, uh, one minute markets, and then Fridays are kind of a toss up uh, where I just pick some kind of random topic and relate it to the markets. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. Um, like I said, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you guys next week.